Alrighty, Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video and we are going to talk about cruising of course and we're going to talk about Hurricane Helene and some of the effects that that hurricane is having on cruising and it's quite a few. Right now we have the Port of Tampa is closed, Port Canaveral is closed, Port Jackson in Florida is closed which naturally means cruise ships cannot return. We're still seeing itinerary changes. We have cruise ships that are gonna have to stay out for extra time, extra days. And of course that will have a domino effect, meaning that follow-on cruises will be impacted. Now as the storm passes later on this afternoon and then makes landfall in Florida, tomorrow the ports are going to assess the damage. Has there been any damage? Is there any reason whether or not they can or cannot open up? It will be determined by the port, determined by the Coast Guard, and then after that, the cruise lines will receive notification that they can begin the docking and bringing the ships back in, getting passengers off, and getting passengers on. But this is all up to the ports. As much as the cruise lines want to get back, want to get passengers home, want to get those that are waiting on the cruise ship for their scheduled itineraries, it is all up to the port. Cruise Line has no say in this. And the only reason I say that is because, like always, you know there are people that are mad, they are upset, they are blaming the cruise lines for ruining their vacation, and this is just something the cruise lines have no control over. Now, so far, we have the Carnival Elation and the Carnival Paradise. Both of those ships are going to remain out at sea for at least one extra day. Over on the Royal Caribbean side, we have Serenade of the Seas, Utopia of the Seas, Adventure of the Seas. They are all being affected by port closures and delays, and they're not the only ones. MSC is being affected, Virgin Voyages, Disney Cruise Lines, pretty much all of your major cruise lines players that sail out of Florida are being impacted by this storm. The only port that is currently still open and operating is the Port of Miami. Now, for those on board the cruise ships, they get an extra day or so out, out at sea. Good for them. But for those that are waiting to embark on the cruise ship, look, this is a frustrating process. You've gone to Florida, you've gotten there a day ahead of time, you're staying in a hotel expecting to board your cruise ship only to have the port closed. Now, of course, you have to extend your stay in the hotel. Your cruise has now been shortened, your itinerary has been changed. So yeah, we completely get it is a frustrating process. It is one of the unfortunate things that can happen if you cruise during hurricane season. It's a risk you take. Experienced cruisers know it. They plan for it. They prepare for it. They're not super surprised when it happens, but there are a lot of people that are new to cruising, first-time cruisers. And when these types of situations pop up, all you can do is keep in contact with the cruise line. Pay attention to what's going on. Read your emails. Be aware of where you got to be and when you got to be. Have patience and have understanding and realize that the cruise lines do not control the weather. Now, Florida is not the only place where bad weather is even happening this week. This past Tuesday in Skagway, Alaska, three cruise ships actually had to skip their port stop due to high winds that made it unsafe for them to dock. Holland America's Connings Dam and Nora Dam both had to cancel their stops there. Discovery Princess tried twice to dock in Skagway before she finally had to cancel her stop there as well. So we've had bad weather on both ends, down in Florida, affecting the Caribbean, up in Alaska, affecting Skagway. And again, while I completely get it sucks, I completely get that it is disappointing and it, and it definitely affects your vacation, what you plan for, it is one of the side effects, the unfortunate possibilities that can occur with cruising. Just remember, patience, patience, patience. The cruise lines are going to do everything they can do to keep you safe, keep the crew members safe, keep the ship safe, and still try to give you the best vacation they possibly can. And that's going to be our quick video for today. Just an update on what is going on with cruising. I hope everyone has enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.